Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to change data grid view low color dynamically in csharp.net. First of all, go to the toolbox and take a data grid view control. Just drag the data grid view and drop it in the Windows form. Resize the data grid view. Resize the data grid view and go to the property window to resize the data grid view text. Go to the expand the font, expand the default cell style, and expand the font. Just put 14, 12. Okay, 12 is sufficient. Sufficient. Uh, okay, font 14 is sufficient font for data grid view to display. To get insert, delete, update all C sharp code, uh, uh, subscribe my channel to get insert, delete, update, and uh, C sharp code. Uh, now I'm gonna show you in the load data in the data grid view. Oh, sorry. First of all, need to call the context. Our context is data class one dot data dbml file dot dbml file. This is my context data class one dot data data class one data context db equal to new data class one data context. This is my dbml file. And the table is product input tab. My database table product input tab. Now, var st equal to from s in db dot product info tab. Select s. Select s means all record from the product input tab. Data grid view under data source equal to st. st means all record in exist in the product info tab just call the method in the load event form load event my form name is insert from data grid view underscore load oh sorry this is missing a, a second bracket close second bracket now just debug these are my table uh, record now now I am going to show you how to change data grid view row color dynamically. Go to the event, click event in the property window and uh, scroll down, double click in the cell formatting event. Ok guys, this is the cell format data grid view cell formatting event in this event you will put the code you will write the code to uh, to change the data grid view rows background color and four color i just copied and paste the code to reducing the time if i write all the code the video will be uh, big that's why i just copied and paste you can see it uh, by uh, pausing okay guys now this is the two is the index uh, of the column our column is product id product name the stock reorder level the operation will happen in a stock and reorder level if a stock equal to reorder level then the row back back color will be red and four color will be white see that the reorder level is 10 and the stock is 10 that's why it's uh, uh, four color and back color change now I'm gonna change the name of this uh, uh, variable. The first variable is a stock, and second variable is a reorder level. First variable a stock. A stock is the second second index zero one two, and the third index is the reorder level. If a stock equal to reorder level, then the back color will be red and four color will be white. Else, four color will be green and back color will be white. See that 50 equal to 50, 50 equal 50, that's why it's red and 10 equal 10, that's why it's red and 4 color is white, 30 equal 30, stock equal reorder level, then it, the color changed. Now, I'm going to show you this, if a stock less than reorder level, I mean reorder level is greater than a stock, that's why then, it, what happened? Reorder level, now I just to change the code in, see that 
the order level is 20 and the stock is 10 that's why it's changed the but that the, uh, you should go you should write the code in the self formatting event 